What's up guys, Godforge here, welcome in the next video. Today we'll get started with the Spring MVC. We'll use Bootstrap for the CSS styling and Timeleaf as the template engine. Using this technology stack we will create multi-page application which will display a greeting for the user. As always we'll start with generating the project and you can see the overview over here. And the last thing we have to do is to add dependencies and we'll need two dependencies. First one is Spring Web and the second one will be the template engine which is Timeleaf. Now we can generate the project and get started with coding. Here we are in the IDE. We'll start with adding the index.html file and to do it we will have to go to the spring mvc start source main resources and over here in the template we'll create a new file so we right click it select new html file and we'll call it index.html and this file will be served by default on the root path of our Spring Boot application. So let's change the title to Hello Spring MVC. And also let's copy it and let's create h1 tag and paste it also over here. And let's start the application to check out if it works. So we'll open the Maven plugin Spring Boot run and after a few seconds it should be up and running on the port 8080 and it's here and if we will navigate right now to the local host port 8080 we can see the page uh, which has the title hello spring mvc and the header hello spring mvc just like we have in our index.html file and you can see that index page is being served by default we don't have to do any extra work and now we'll add bootstrap to make it look better we'll do it in the fast way we will not add the dependencies to the pom file or we'll not download the sources we'll grab the cdn links so we can go to the uh, bootstrap cdn.com and over here we can copy this complete CSS and we can put it over here in the head tag so we'll say link we'll give it the relation style sheet and we'll give it href and we'll paste the link and we'll close the tag I don't know if it's visible for you guys I hope so okay and also let's add the script so again from the bootstrap.cdn we can get the complete javascript bundle so we copy it and we can hide it and now at the bottom of the body we can say script and we can give it source and we can paste the link over here and close the tag and yeah that looks good let's hide those things for now so we will stop it and hide this thing and we'll move it over here okay now it looks good let's check out if our bootstrap is working so we will go over here on the getbootstrap.com and we have the jambotron example so we'll copy this code from here and we'll paste it under our h1 tag we'll get rid of everything and we'll copy our h1 tag and paste it over here we'll only leave this class which was display dash for i believe we can start the application to check it out so we click spring boot run and it's working okay 
and if we open the web browser on the localhost 8080 we can see that bootstrap is working because the jambotron component is being displayed correctly great now let's create a personalized greeting page so if we pass the name as the parameter of the url we will get the personalized greeting we'll start with creating a greeting page but first let's stop the application and let's hide the maven and in the templates directory we want to create new html file and we'll call it greeting.html we can copy some things from the index so we'll take the entire header from there and also we'll grab the script with the bootstrap and paste it over here at the bottom we'll also grab jambotron component so let's take it here and paste it here and for now let's say it will be hello john we'll leave it like this for now and we know that index.html is being served by default and greeting will be not served by default and now we have to create a controller that will serve this greeting.html file we'll go to the main package of our application in the java directory and over here we'll create a new package which will be called controller and inside this controller we'll create a new java class and we'll call it greeting controller first of all we have to mark this class with the annotation and it will be controller annotation so i think we recognize it as the controller and now we have to create a method which will be responsible for displaying our greeting file and we want to display it when the user will make the get request so we will say get mapping and now we'll have to specify the path and we want to display our greeting.html page when the user will enter the greeting path and now we want to create a method associated with this path so we'll say public ring we'll call our method greet and inside we can simply say return and we want to return the string and this string is the name of our template and in our case it will be greeting but we are not adding this uh, extension we will passing only the name it should already work so our page should be served we will go to the maven spring boot run and we'll open the web page here is our index page hellspring mvc and right now if we will navigate to the slash greeting we'll get the hello john which comes from the greeting.html over here so now we know how to serve different templates so we can stop it and now we can try to make it personalized to do it we have to modify our grid method a little bit and now we want to make it accept the query parameter and to do it we will use the request param annotation and we can adjust this request param to specify name for example it will be first name and also we can set the default value for it so we'll say default value and we'll give it a stranger okay and now the name of the associated parameter and it will be first name and let's move it to the next line and also our method 
will accept second parameter and it is model with the same name and we have to import it and yeah now it's good okay so we have extended our grid method with two parameters first one is the query parameter so right now user can pass his first name uh, and personalize the greeting uh, otherwise the default value will be used and the second parameter is the model also known as the view model and if we specify this object like we did it right now so it is one of the parameters uh, in our method now we can use it to set some attributes and later on this model will be passed to the uh, greeting template and we'll be able to use these attributes in our template for example to display some text using interpolation and we'll do it right now so we will receive uh, this first name as the parameter and now we can use our model and we can add attribute and we can specify the key it will be the same as the name of the parameter so it will be the first name and now we can assign the value and it will be the first name which comes from the url as the uh, query parameter and we don't have to do anything more it will be uh, this model object will be automatically passed to the greeting template and it will have this attribute which we have defined but we have to display it so we can go back to the greeting.html and right now we will use the template engine which we have added as the dependency and it is called timeleaf to use it in the first place we have to specify the xml namespace so we go to the html tag over here and we have to say xml namespace colon and now we have to say th which stands for timeleaf and now between the quotation marks we have to say http slash slash www.timeleaf.org thanks so that right now we can get rid of this hello john greeting between the h1 tags and now we can use th colon and we can use the text to display some text and between the quotation marks over here we will use some string concatenation inside the string so we'll say hello we'll make extra space and we want to concatenate the property which is called first name and it is coming from the model over here right as the name first name and it is available in the model which is passed to the greeting and also let's add the exclamation mark at the end using concatenation like this we can also see this common notation of the interpolation that we can also find in different template engines or the uh, front-end frameworks so yeah this should work so we can start the application we click spring boot run and after a few seconds our application should be up and running okay and here it is in the web browser we are now on the root path and we are receiving hello spring mvc now let's navigate to the greeting endpoint and over here we are getting hello stranger and stranger is default value and this is because we haven't provided the query parameter and right now if we set the query parameter and let's say it will be first name will we hit enter and we are receiving hello will okay so this is all for today i hope you enjoyed this short introduction video of the spring mvc i will probably prepare more content regarding this topic so stay tuned remember about hitting subscribe button and turning on notifications see you next time